welcome to your astrological transit forecast report this is the peace dealer we are gonna look into the next three months for you uh the harvest aspect taurus gemini cancer i'm so glad you actually got this uh at this period this is a really great period to get reports i would say scorpio taurus leo and aqua season are ideal to get reports your angular houses um and so relative to november all right that's your activation scorpion i love that you're zero degree rising scorpio sag and cap is the activation uh the transformation of your personality the manifestation of the meaning of your value and the expression of the integrity of your attitude this now integrates relative to the foundation of knowledge the expression of your beliefs and the integration of your originality and authenticity, putting all this together so that we break through and take your wisdom of self and manifest the value of your partnerships through the six months of personal development that manifests the value has you transform the truth and see the sincere expression of your integrity of attitude. All right. Philosophically. So, so basically Six years ago, 2018, you had Jupiter in Scorpio. And this is what enabled you to begin a brand new 12 year evolution journey. Okay. And we want to really take that into account because, uh, the very powerful understanding and element of such has since 2018 coming into 2023 evolved your identity value attitude home talent and uh, behavior which now integrated into your behavior the evolution of all these themes so that 2024 this can integrate everything into your relationships with others expanding the recently nodal return that you had to add to the value of what you're meant to do with other people. And so congratulations. This is a huge milestone. You are getting ready to have the sun Jupiter conjunction in your seventh, which is going to officially activate your personal chapter seven here and open up a brand new cycle of partnerships. So when we talk about love, Saturn is in your fifth, adding so much more integrity to who you share uh, what you love in your heart with and how much more integrity you have in expressing your talents this is making a 90 degree angle to saturn and sag so relative to the saturn return that you had 2017 you are finally integrating it beginning that 90 degree to 180 degree saturn gemini opposition and this is what of course relative to the late 80s 90s saturn portal where i mean our saturn karma is unlike any other generation like we have it with uranus and neptune and it is a supernatural element of how it is we take this power we've returned and you're getting ready to experience the foundation with which you can believe of the world the totality of magic you were born with having this is magic by the way 29 degrees uh venus with uranus is here you you have so much transcendent magic towards your sun that's all behind your awareness that sometimes can have you lost to be unconscious of your own value and this is going to help you now really integrate how much more creatively you can manifest this very this totality of interpretation and meaning that you have freely all right now when we take into account the neptunian element that sect squaring your venus this is going to add a lot more depth and layers like a rabbit hole into what you can imagine through with your heart and as venus will reach 29 degrees and jupiter here this is going to ground relative to your behavior around what your value with other people and how you really express this value but it's still very important because a large element of the imagination around your creativity 
through the authenticity of your routine is going to greatly color and influence the grounded quality of your relationships. And the most important thing to establish is in the most unconventional fashion, now that the sun is actually on Uranus right now, is you are activating with the new moon, sun Uranus and sun Jupiter, brand new cycles regarding not only the unconventionality and evolution of your partnerships and the new cycle of relationships that you will manifest with other people, but the destiny that unlocks the wisdom of your personality so that you provide the value that is meant to be provided and vice versa. Okay, so every existing partnership you have now has extended and expanded what more value there is to manifest. And this classically activates new relationships with people. It's a really auspicious period through Gemini season to meet new people. Of course, none of this is social outside of the, the Scorpio rising. The Taurus is individual. So these are relationships you individually manifest uh, because you find value in them as pure queen, right? Uh, this is very lucrative. This is going to open up so much wealth. And now as a it's Capricorn Sun, this blends the fifth house Leo angle romance in the house of relationships. So you want to really ask yourself what it is that you naturally value now relative to 12 years ago, because it is quintessentially evolved. And the comfort you have in these partnerships with Jupiter being 90 degrees from your Jupiter Aquarius enables you to take how much more knowledgeable you are about yourself, which enables you to be more comfortable with other people because you know yourself more. Really, really awesome. Really awesome. Chiron is linking healing with your work and how you are, of course, healing your routine and behavior so that you can support relationships, injecting authenticity, originality and excitement into them. All right. Uh, everything that the nodes are unlocking coming through into October, where you will release unconscious habits relative to new r routines, regimes, and, and behaviors you've activated that down this Taurus new moon is manifesting in your relationships with others. This is going to lead into Gemini. Jupiter, Venus, and the sun are going to end May kicking off Gemini season. And that's immediately going to oppose your Sagittarius stellium, which is a huge theme of Gemini season every year. But now with Jupiter here, that is going to evolve your angelic communication healing portal. It's a fancy way of saying that you were always born with the ability to trigger the bejesus out of people because God forbid you tell them the truth that they don't want to hear. And now Jupiter is just going to evolve how much more you trigger people who hate the truth. OK, so this is going to enable you to do this in so much more of an evolved fashion. And I think whereas before you had your Saturn return, this may have been met with some kind of uncomfort and, you know, you know, uh, anxiety. I think you're just going to have a lot more fun triggering the goddamn out of people who want to communicate but don't want to communicate truthfully. Most of this is usually indirect. And I think this is going to evolve your awareness with which will allow more of a direct means of triggering the goddamn bejesus out of other people. But this also is going to expand all the, the ascended value that you have and open up what you can invest it into, what thoughts and ideas you can invest this into. And so that's something very major to keep in mind during Gemini season is Venus will eventually be 29 degrees opposite your Venus and you will complete that 180 degree angle. Let us keep in mind that 29 degrees Jupiter and Venus will be 150 degrees that will perfectly opening King Kunks your Venus and integrate relative to the value of other people you're with, how to put together this evolution of your relationships as this will now produce the effect of who you trust and how you will add to your wealth via your investments of the meaning of the higher interpretation of experiences and who you invest these truths, the word into, because this will not only draw evolved boundaries of what you trust or who you trust with what you communicate, but this is going to really set up great wealth coming back into the end of the year when we step into Sagittarius season and you return on these investments. Okay. So Gemini season for all sorts of reasons will be kind of exciting. 
Uh, but seeing Venus polish this area as Jupiter will be expanding it and the sun will be leading the charge will really do a lot to prepare you for the rest of the year. And it will give you uh, so much to communicate about, especially seeing that Jupiter is currently squaring the Taurus to take this hidden expansive quality of knowledge that you're at home with and now express the integration of this naturally through other people. Extremely made more intense by Pluto, and now that Pluto's retrograding back, your rising will feel that, okay? So once Jupiter starts to trine Jupiter in Gemini, this is going to communicate this expanse of knowledge to give you not only so much more to say, but this foundation of knowledge that will have people really enriched just by listening to you or if they're just full of ego and they don't want to hear the truth so mad that you told them the truth that you had the audacity to kind of expose where they were being a liar all right now the purpose of this gemini season especially all through the rest of this year that will expand of course this element of communication that will have you deal with others accordingly and of course, really process what the results of the quality of these partnerships are will bring up trust issues, but also really open up the unconventional nature of your investment platforms, open up investment platforms. And with Sag and Gemini, this is magic. So this doesn't even have to be physical money, although it can convert to that. This is going to really just transition into transforming a lot of how you communicate to other people and the change of attitude and mindset through Gemini producing the effect of the value of your partnerships is going to influence the direction you will feel like taking in cancer. All right. And that's what's going to apply this transformation of your boundaries to now set the direction of what you feel this updated element of your philosophical approach should be. This is going to harvest everything since Capricorn season that you've set in play. And that's what's important about the next three months, November, December, and January that you've activated relative to a firmware update you do once a year is now harvesting through May, June, and July. All right. The wisdom of your personality is now manifesting the value of your partnerships. The meaning of your value is now harvesting in terms of what you invest this value in and who you trust with it. And the development of the attitude you have in integrity is going to harvest the sincerity of how philosophically you express or how sincerely you express this philosophical approach the feelings of the direction that with this supernaturally psychic portal here you maintain with your soul and spirit will of course give you the opposite end through cancer season of how to feel about everything okay of course we are the bridge between the old generation in the 70s and 60s uh to the new generation post 95 so we're in that weird pocket where the old generation doesn't really know how to understand the supernatural power we have or believe it, even though they have psychic powers. And the new generation is just far too advanced and they're still awakening. So we're coming of age. And this is what's going to really put more into context a whole lot of how we continue to bridge both generations, but without the need for advice from either, because we're the ones setting the trends, we're the ones pushing forward these discoveries, and there's just certain things that only we can do, you know? You stay blessed as always, as the next three months will harvest everything you've put into place since last year, November, this will set up August, September, and October, which will bring into completion of harvest so that you can come into a very passionate awareness of the success that you have harvested. You stay blessed as always. And until next time, peace.